And then realistically, are we living a life whenever we look just about even what may have happened today or yesterday? It's like, man, it doesn't seem real. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> I was, I, I just, uh, I'm going to share this and then you can take off, Jeremy, <laughs> like an airplane. Yeah. But I, um, so the other day, me and Garrett was traveling down the road and it was like, the Lord allowed, it's like God really opened my eyes. I could see, you know what I mean? Come on, it's like we see, but it was like my the vision that my eyes were seeing was more. It was like I could, my depth perception was greater. It was like I could see the back of Crystal's car out there, but not really seeing the back of the car. So it's really hard to explain. Um, but my prayer is consistently to open my eyes, yeah. open my ears, open my eyes. I want to hear and I want to see everything. Well, and I didn't really realize even what was happening. You know what I mean? But, um, and it wasn't even, it was just God getting my attention. And then I ran into somebody at Lowe's and boom. And, um, and just real briefly, he said, Hey to Garrett and shook his hand and said, Hey to me and shook my hand. But when I looked in his eyes, it was like, it it was the first time that I experienced, I, 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 seen, it, I seen it to his soul. Mm -hmm. Come and on. I could hear it crying, man, for freedom. It was like, it's, it's just crazy, you know. And it's, uh, um, it's, it was crazy because Jeremy had called me, as uh, yeah, I think, and I was walking into Lowe's. And I said, man, I got to call you back because this, uh, you know, it, it really caught me off guard. And I was like, the Lord opened my eyes, you know, to see, be able to see the depth of somebody's bondage. And it was just, mm -hmm. but it was like, mm -hmm. why does God reveal that? There's only one reason to pray. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. And it may be, you know, something can happen in that area that he could get freedom mm -hmm. but it was just it <coughs> excuse me it struck me you know because it was like it I, I was i was even we stood back there in the faucets and i'm just like holy cow dude you know what i mean it was like a, 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 it was like a soul in bondage i don't know it's it's just crazy. It's hard to explain. It, it just, it's even more that we need to pray now, even more than ever. Yeah. For people to be free from those bondages of religion. Mm -hmm. More than ever, man. I mean, more than ever. Because I think about the little white church that we stopped at yesterday. 3,000 people at a time. And if you see it, there's like, Hey, you you can't fit a hundred, hundred in there yeah. if you yeah. stand them in there and stack them like Legos. You can't fit a hundred in there, maybe. Probably. Yeah, they, they, Alice, they probably had to open the windows up and had to stay <clears throat> I mean, I imagine the dude standing on the steps preaching probably did. or whatever. I mean, there's no way you could have fit a hundred, let alone 3,000. But I'm like, at that time, the spirit of religion had to be weak. Religion yeah. had to be weak. Because it said in there that they rode horses and buggies. You know, it wasn't like a car. It wasn't like we hop in our car and drive two hours to the conference. They come long distance. Yeah, from all over. It was a it was a big deal to go there. Because whatever reasons people went, it's irrelevant. But there was no light show. There was no fame. There was no fame preacher. No big name guy. No prophet. Not no, all this social media. High all the, none of that. You know what I mean? And it's just horse and buggy, they probably for days. For days. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you read into the whole you know, thing, and, and yeah, and I even there was even more like if you Google it, they, it pulls up more history on it <laughs> off of that that guy's anyhow. But it's there was it was none of all that junk to draw people in. It wasn't like oh well, your anointing is greater than mine, or mine's greater than yours. Or gosh, and all this, and you know, and it's, and I got to thinking because Marissa made a comment the other day about the intellect, people's, and I, and I was listening to Damon talking about that, yeah, about how he's, he said he was gifted, 
the intellect and understanding things. And, but it's not to say, oh, well, gosh, I can understand that better than you and this yeah. and that. You know, and I really believe, man, what he said is like it's truly happening because it's like, who cares about your seminaries? Who cares about the call Bible college? Yeah. Who cares about the degrees? All that stuff's irrelevant in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. The only <laughs> thing that's relevant, what made Jesus attractive to people was the time that he spent with God. He proved that by his life, by walking his life. Yeah. His day-to-day -day actions proved that he spent time with God. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whether it's riding a rider up to a white top mountain, <laughs> whether it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was they were in the bathroom and I was kind of witnessing to that lady there at the counter talking about some things that I was buying some stuff, man. And it's just yeah. like, you know, you don't have to like nail them with a jackhammer of Jesus in the gospel. Heck no, that woman stood there and talked to you. Dude, like she was so she, the whole time y'all was in the bathroom, yeah. everybody took a bathroom break, man. She's just yearning for a manifestation, right? right. And, but that's, that's the only thing that's relevant. And I really believe that God's bringing that thing back. I believe so. That the only thing that's relevant that is going to, is that's why people, you know, are drawn to us. It's because it's like we don't, there's, there's no big show. No. There's no big, you know what I mean? No. As, as, as bad as I want to set that tent up and do something, I know that we're not supposed to do that. And it's like, hey, we could set it up and it would be good and people would come and this, whatever. But that's not, man. It's not, that's, it's, uh, it, you know. Even now since the COVID, the, the uh, religious spirit, this church has been shut down. Right. And God said he's going to shut them down. Right. And people are going to look at other places and they're seeing people, you know. Like us, and they it's what we're witnessing, and, and what we're witnessing is just it's you know, it, it, things that happen. I don't know what, what we're living in right now is because I talked to another guy, I talked to a guy this morning, he called me super early, but. And it just reminded me, man, that once again, the grace that's on my life. And and even in business decisions and things that we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, we me and Garrett were showing this lady, and I'd done work for her before. She's 93. <laughs> and she and she said she made Garrett Pinky promise her to tell uh Marissa that she was beautiful. Because we were just showing pictures of fish and this and that. And she looked at me and she said, I believe you made the best decision in your life when you left that place over there. And you did. She said, because just you showing me these pictures means that, you, that God told you to do that. And you can see the awkwardness of her daughter and her daughter's husband. They must not be believers. And I said, all I know is that we just trust him and he provides. And she said, honey, as long as you trust him, he'll provide. <laughs> right as long as I trust him if I don't put my faith in him how can he how can he that's the only thing we're required to have is faith and what greater witness that was to him I mean not saying that he you know he needed a witness but what greater right for that woman to sit there and say you know what you made a right decision yeah. it's her 90 something she's got wisdom and I sit back and think about and I bet that made Doug be like you know what I did make a good decision. I did make the right decision. Well, even her daughter was like, gosh, that could be a, a – um, what did she say? She, she just made a comment like, you know, that could be – that that's a that could be a thing for everybody to grab a hold of, yeah. of what's important in life. You know, and um, she said there's things right now that you're doing that these kids will never forget, that we'll never forget. We'll always remember that time – that instead of going to church, we went to Monster Jam. Who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? There's time. I mean, we'll always remember these these times on the boat or we went up on the ride. Right, these little things, and it's not about material things, and it's not about doing, 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 doing. But it's like these things that you know we'll remember the time we didn't get home till one o'clock <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. 
they'll be like, Dad, we'll be old and 93 years old and feeble as she was and just, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 and Garrett will be, Dad, you remember that time we was out till 1 in the morning over there? Yeah. You, you, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's because when I told them, they were like, oh, no. we." I was like, no, we did that by choice. I didn't have to go. <laughs> Nobody sat here made me go. <laughs> we win. Uh, and just we, because. A choice. It's it's a choice. You know a what I mean? It's such, it, and I don't know. Um, but it was just, that was just what had kind of come to me this morning was, was like, if, if the life we're living, if we're asking and believing that we're in the will of God, if we're living in the kingdom now, we want to pray that. We want to pray, God, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Then we better be, we better be living in the unexplainable. Yeah. We better be living in the unbelievable. Yeah. We better be living in a place to where we're like, what in the absolute hell just happened? Yeah. And I, oh. What I mean, really, <laughs> what just happened yesterday? We live in a place, but we were, God brought us into in, unmerited favor grace on our life to where we experienced something we could went 10 years ago it's just there how many months ago we could have done that because where we were in our job right i was thinking yesterday how awesome it is that we can all take off one day in the middle of the week and do something like that right right no there's no way when he said we right. it's you know, we need, right, we need, it has to be like, really, every day needs to be like, Marissa said last night, she said, love you, sweet dreams, say your prayers, and I said, you say my prayers, because I was so tired, I said, you say my prayers, <laughs> and as I close my eyes, I mean, I go out like almost like that, like, y'all <laughs> understand how fast I go out. If I forget my phone and everything, I don't go back to the house. Like this time, I mean, like seriously, I go out like sometimes in a matter of 10 seconds. And I just closed my eyes and I was like, Jesus, wow. I mean, in, in, in the midst of that, he said, I know. And I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done. I was down. I woke up this morning. I'm like, gosh, I'm mighty. What happened? You know what I mean? Yeah. What happened? It's not, you know, I mean, it's like, I, like seriously, like I said, it's, I looked at the, th I'm like thinking it was two or three o'clock and it was like 630. And I'm like, holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> Like what really? Like how did this? Because I'm thinking the the, like, blink, 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 the travel blink, thing, the travel <laughs> thing said two and a half hours, and I'm thinking, dude, we've been here all day. Like it's how is it six thirty? You know what I mean? But at, at the same time, it's like when, when you're enjoying it, man. It's like it doesn't exist. Well, that's because how he's not bound by. Yeah, it. and that's how heaven is. Yeah. Right. He's not bound by time. You know what I mean? He's not in a hurry like we are. He's not in a hurry. He's not wanting us. God, give us this revelation and let's do something. Let's go win. Let's go win the world for Jesus. He's not in a hurry like that at all. Like, seriously, people are dying. Somebody died now. And then, like, I think 19 seconds, somebody else is going to yeah. die. On average, every how many ever seconds, somebody dies and somebody's born. God's not in a hurry. Even though their soul's being judged, you know what I mean? It's not, but it's it's an unbelievable thing. It has to be. I'm not saying, I mean, there's there's times where things come and this and that, and you know what I mean? I was I was blown away by the idiot that was driving at midnight last night in Boone and about caused us to wreck. You know what I mean? And I was like, I'm gonna wreck you now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But even in that, even in those situations, in Jesus name. it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> take us out of the will. Mm -mm. We're not, if, if we're not. He's still daddy. Huh? He's still daddy. Always. He that always scripture was. I shared the other day. And I, it, it's a, he's, we're his permanent residence. <laughs> we're his permanent residence. <laughs> we, if we give him the key, man. Yeah. Why can't we not? Always, and that's what I was thinking the other day. Why cannot we always be in a constant encounter with it? Like, right. Maybe not just right. all the time. Well, like, I wouldn't recognize that as being, you know, 
but a constant encounter with him, you know? I think he is tangible. I think he can be yeah. felt. I think he can be heard. I think he can, but I think whenever we limit it to whenever yeah. we feel him, whenever we hear him, whenever that he's around, mm -hmm. like then we say, oh, well, it can't be a constant encounter. Right. But it can. Though. It can be. I'm because saying whenever we yeah. limit it to the feel, well, if I oh, feel him, yeah. then he's around. If I hear yeah. him, then he's yeah. around. Right. Or we get uh, sidetracked right. by things going on, or you know, right. we're too busy, yeah. or you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had like I about broke down my comments though, because I I was telling Doug I caught a massive bass on a frog one time. So we're into this fishing kick, and I told him I said if I can get frogs. Right, I say ain't nobody fishing with live frogs, <laughs> and, and I just made that statement. If I can get some frogs, you know, and I told him, I was like, man, I do a frog farm, and I was just daydreaming. Yeah. And so me and Hezekiah went to go mow the other day, and we started mowing. I see little things hopping down there, and so I got my hands full. He's got his hands. We run up there get a thing. We come back catch frogs later that evening. I go back and catch frogs, and then today I catch frogs. And we're walking down the little trail, and I've got my little container here full of frogs, and I'm just happy as a lark. And I'm like, God, you gave me frogs. Like, it didn't even hit me till today that I'm carrying a container full of frogs. And it was just a thought. And it was just a thought. It was just like a, I don't know. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you're so good. I didn't ask you for frogs. I didn't say and And my. Yeah, we didn't pray in Jesus' name and have 20 people agree and send out a prayer. Chain for us to get frogs. It's just that's like that's in that hard. moment, he. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's like the car. I was like, how, how cool would it be if somebody just dropped their car off in the driveway? Well, <laughs> Look how it happened. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, he's constantly hearing us, constantly. So let's do what we. Because you know what that is? You know what that is? Those things? That is his perfect will. And when he says, there is a scripture, and re, 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 the re, religion quotes it out of context. But he says, if you ask anything in my will, there is a scripture where Jesus said that. Yeah. Matthew 18, 19 says, any two of us agree concerning anything, I'll do it. But there is a scripture that says, if you ask anything in my will, how we know that that thought didn't come from him. That that thought didn't come from him. Yeah. Because why? Well, we in. Right. So when that thought comes, all you got to do is just acknowledge it. It's not like, man, let's agree in prayer and God says in Jesus' name, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's it just has to be unbelievable. That's it. Because it was like you would think that it was a uh, plague. How many frogs are around the pond? And they're like <laughs> quarter size, size to fish with. Yeah, like they're the perfect size. size. You know what I'm saying? You don't like frogs? I don't like frogs. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I want to show you the video of my frog attack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my neighbor will plant a bomb oh. in your house. <laughs> our neighbor don't like frogs. Yeah, our neighbor will blow your house up. <laughs> yeah. I, you're the second person I've ever met that didn't like frogs. Yeah. But yeah. that's what it is, though. That's what we need to be living in. But I'm like, it's flipping frogs. I was like, God, you're even good in the frogs. <laughs> you send the frogs. I know that we've had frogs before, but to the extent that, like, the wind and the waves are laying the frogs. Because she said, she, because <laughs> everything. She, because she said she yeah. wasn't going to go. I mean, you you weren't planning on going fishing this week, was you? No, no. And she, because she said, because I remember, you know, how she said, she said, but she, but she said, I want fish with frogs. And Jesus said, okay, you want to go fishing this week? Right. I could give you the frogs right. to make her go ahead and say right. yes. I mean, not saying it's all her, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but the frogs. It is, but his goodness overwhelmed me <laughs> that very moment because I had caught frogs twice the day before and didn't even, and then today I'm like, oh my God. Froggy, froggy. I kept telling them to drop the nets after they fished on. Drop the nets. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Did he not put the fish there? Oh. You believe where he told them to put the nets? Yeah. It was a divine setup from the get go. Yeah. Because you think, you know, if you've been on a boat and you catch, 
if you throw on this side, I mean that boat ain't too big. I'm down. I'm, not, I'm using my main even if it, is that, if it is that big. I'm sitting there like your bait will attract them. You're going to have fish over here on this side. Yeah, if it's that much as they catch the they're swimming around. <laughs> just sitting, toss them in, boys. Boom. Yeah, and I'm like. Side, like they had to get help to drag the nets in. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's how but but you know they had to be fished on that side. They just didn't get in the net. Come on, man. He said just do it. That's Why? the difference because you between listen. being not in and being in yeah. the will of God. Yeah. That's the difference of where you cast the nets. Said, well, yeah. We've been fishing all night and it's yeah. not easy. We caught nothing. And how in the world did <laughs> he come over? And then he comes back and says, later he comes back and says, you have any meat, boys? <laughs> huh? He said, my dude. God, that must be the Lord. <laughs> That's the Lord. He's bad, dude. <laughs> He's bad. I can't hear you. Uh, no jerk. That's why we're still fishing. <laughs> but how many times? <laughs> they probably said that realistically. Yeah. Yeah. But think how many times in our life does he have to say, cast your nets on that side again. Yeah. Because he told them it's the exact same thing he told them when he first met them. And then he died and come back. They went back fishing yeah, he because they were complacent. Yep. So then they come back and he said, no, cast them on that side, boys. You know what rocked me the most about that is they get to shore and he's done cooking dinner. Yeah. It wasn't even about the fish they no. caught. <laughs> it's about him proving that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He ain't changing. He's unchanging. We, he's unwavering. And we can't change it. We no. will never change no. it. All we need to do is which side? Which side? Yeah. Which side? Open our ears, Lord. Anyhow, go ahead, Jerry. Well, I was getting ready to – because, I mean, I was telling Doug, like, like yesterday was really like a game changer. Well, not really a game changer for me, but it was really enjoyable. But uh, I got home. This is before I got to talking to Doug last night. <coughs> I, mean, I was beat. Of course, we was tired. But um, I got in there, and uh, uh, we were snacking around. Logan was in his room, and uh, Crystal was talking to Mama Jane. And uh, Abby was in there, had her headphones right on the coffee table, and I was sitting on the couch, you know, and she had her headphones in and uh, eat, eating a bowl of cereal. And, man, I just started grabbing my Bluetooth speaker, and I just wanted to play music. So I was playing a little music, you know, and singing a little bit. This was after he was singing. Yeah. That's after I was singing, and you know, because I, yeah. I was singing some, like, old 80s song or something. Yeah. And um, so I turned it over because I remember when Damon said, he said, Man, just go turn it on to Bethel and just have an experience. I was like, all right, let's go do it. So I flipped and turned it over to Bethel, and I was like, all right, what song? Okay, okay, let's go. And I said, all right, our father, click. So I was just sitting there going, you know, I was just sitting there. I'd be just sitting there eating cereal, and I was just had to close my eyes for a second. I was just like, and I began to just, like, experience something that I really never experienced. But it's that abiding, and just it don't matter if anybody's in front of you. So Crystal got off and said, sit down and worship. And I was just in that mood and I was just crying. My eyes are just growing and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And I looked at Crystal and I said, do you remember when Doug taught something about resting? I said, we should never, ever go away from that. And she looked at me and I was like, no, I'm serious. I said, I'm serious, Crystal. I said, that's so important. And, I, and she, you know, she's my Google. She, I said, find that scripture what he found. You know, find that scripture what he was talking about. So she found it, and I was like, all right. Well, then I just begin to think about it. That's yeah, that's that song. And I was listening to it. It says, and it, and then you know, I was just like, I mean, it really got me tired, teared up because the day before I had a little incident with, I mean, not really an incident with um, somebody, not really like bad or anything, but I was just questioning things. And, uh, uh, but you know, we went on the riders and it was like yesterday on the riders. The only thing I had on my mind was how fun this is and Jesus. Like mm -hmm. I had my cell phone in Crystal's pocketbook because it was getting dusty. I wasn't worried about anybody texting me or calling me because the only person I talked to is right beside me and the one driving in front of me. <laughs> so I was like, ain't nobody going to call me except mom, but, I, but she already knows where I'm at. The only thing I had on my mind was I've got to find somewhere to use the bathroom <laughs> and making sure everybody was safe and secure. But then I was just driving and I was telling Doug, that, I said, dude, I was sitting there last night in that worship mode and all I could hear was how exciting is it now? 
mm. or how exciting is it? And I begin to, I mean, literally weep, like, like it's getting to me right now. It's like, I was like, man, Lord, I didn't have nothing on my mind. Like I didn't have a care. I didn't have a worry. I wasn't worrying if Marissa bought a turkey instead of ham or or uh, or if they're going faster, if I'm going slower. Or, or what my job's going to think. Or, yeah. Or if what they my, find out I'm, what I'm doing today. Or what my job is going to yeah. think, what I'm going to do. And I was in that zone like, this is so flipping fun. And I was, whew. I heard that song and she says, on heaven as it is in earth. I said, Lord, if this is because I played this song, Crystal was knocked out. And I said, I put the Bluetooth speaker on and her lights were off and now. And I kept rewinding that six minute song. <laughs> and I was laying in the bed and I'm going, Crystal, is this what heaven's like? I said, is this what <coughs> heaven's like? Because in that point, and then Crystal's like, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. But then today I started saying, and I started, you know, explaining it more. She goes, well, you got to think about heaven. It's complete peace. And then it took me to that scripture about Hebrews 4. And I was like, hey, I'm just going to read it. It says just a little bit. Now the promise of entering to God's rest is still for us today. So we must be extremely careful to ensure that we all embrace the fullness of that promise and not fail to experience it. So I was sitting there because I remember him teaching on this. And I look back in my notes. I was like, I know he said about this this rest that we're in. And I'm like, gosh, my, this is the rest. I, I I know it's the rest. But I'm like, but Lord, is this what heaven feels like on earth? Like, I didn't have my phone. No distractions. N nothing worried about. No flipping money. Not worried about anything in this world, about sitting there thinking, man, this is fun. I'm with my family. I'm with my this ministry, my or you know, the ministry, and we're just flipping, driving around. Of course, we miss Tommy and Jane, but man, we're just driving around looking at because all my wife and my kids is going, look, look, ah, oh, look, look, ah, oh, look, look. And I'm like, is this is what heaven's like? Let me stay. In this perfect mm -hmm. atmosphere and experiences, because I carried it on today. I went and looked at a few jobs, but my mind was sitting there thinking, How much am I going to pay these people? Or how much am I going to charge these people? How much is this? Or what if I do this? Well, no, I let him just flipping take okay. control of everything. And I'm like, Okay. All right, Lord, I know what you're doing here because you're flying, you know, you're showing me. He's sh it's like what Doug, he's not rushing it. He's not pushing it. He's sitting there thinking, okay, I'm going to show you. Because yesterday was, I'm not going to lie. It was like me going to a flipping wrestling ring. I mean, just I'm just being real. This is what excites me. Or watching mm -hmm. a flipping Hulk Hogan on TV and Abby sitting there going, <gasps> and my heart just like, <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just being what 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 makes my heart happy. Not because that we was out riding on a Tuesday, but it was more or less that God allowed us to do this on a flipping Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that <clears throat> we can enter in his rest and experience, experience the fullness of heaven on earth. And I begin to sit there and think about this. I'm like, man, I don't have a flipping. I don't worry if my flipping sister's going to hell or not. I don't flipping worry if my mom and dad's going to sit here and see tomorrow. I'm not worried about Doug's going to see if I have to mow the grass for the ministry yard or anybody. I'm not sitting here worried. I'm not sitting here thinking about this. The only thing I'm thinking is, Jesus, if this is heaven, I love it. You see what I'm saying? But he says we be careful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be careful mm -hmm. to ensure that we embrace the fullness of the promise mm -hmm. and not to experience it. There's a rest. And I experienced this last night. There's a rest that we can just fall into mm -hmm. and cover up with the flipping fan running and you stay in that cup. And it's like, 
You, you have faith in me. You trust in me. I'll take care of any situation you have. I'll take care of any financial spot. I'll take care of any frog you want or any instant pot you want. I will take care of this as long as you embrace the rest of me. <clears throat> and I was like, I'm, I'm sitting there weeping in front of Abby. Chris was like, I said, man, I'm just like, our Father who, and be it all, this song is a Bible verse, but it's also a prayer that Abby sings every time she does a prayer. So I'm sitting there like, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I just kept hearing, on earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it, I said, flip, let heaven come down on us. The problem is, and I believe we're missing, I'm not we, but people's missing the heaven on earth. Yeah. They're not experienced what daddy can really do in their lives. Because I'm serious. I, I worked yesterday. But I also had a flipping great time. And it was a memory that in my mind that I'm sitting there like. I've never been to Stone Mountain. Or not Stone Mountain. But Palm Mountain. And my wife's sitting there. I said Chris this is just like hiking but not walking. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's a good yeah, time. Yeah. I said and she's over here. Click, 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 click. You know just. Because she loves the views, love, love the her. birds, the birds and everything. It's like, and guess what? I can experience what I experienced yesterday, today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Because I embrace the, the rest faith knowing that it doesn't matter what tomorrow or the certain situation is. I'm in the rest in Him and faith that knowing... Daddy's going to take care of everything. Right. But the thing of it is, is we forget and we get distracted. Just like, I mean, he may listen to it, but I don't care. It's like I heard somebody come and hit me because I, I told him to come with us. And the hymn is Jackson. But, uh, uh, you know, and he never would answer me. And I'm like, all of a sudden I seen him at Walmart. And he was like, well, he's got to do all this about football and stuff. <laughs> and uh, so I was like. Okay, but it bothered me. Like it, like I'm sitting there, like, why? So I would, I told Chris, I said, that bothers me. Called Doug, that bothers me. That bothers me. But then I sit there and think about it. But then yesterday, it didn't even bother me because I wasn't even thinking about it. You see what I'm saying? There's a different. You have a choice to either think on it, to dwell on it, to do it. You know what I'm saying? You have that decision. I can sit here tomorrow. I celebrate my four. I'm going to go ahead. I could have dragged my foot and sit there and say, Crystal, I don't even feel want to go tomorrow. Right. I don't even want to go tomorrow. But then I'm sitting there. And, but tomorrow, mm -hmm. I celebrate my four-year anniversary with my wife. Of course, it's going to be the flipping best because I don't have no distractions. <laughs> you see what I'm you see what I'm saying? It's not going to be a distraction. And but I'm I'm sitting there like I'm sitting there like like literally listen to that song and I'm like on repeat on repeat and I'm like I'm flipping ball like a baby I'm like why is this flipping making me ball you know what I'm saying why is this making me cry but I'm he's it's it, it just like he sit there and said isn't it fun isn't it fun and I was telling Doug I said dude I want to experience heaven on earth every single month day of my life and you know what he just said. That's when you know you're in the perfect will of God. Because you see something that ex the littlest thing as an instant pot, my wife got excited about. I mean, I'm not trying to sound that to sound mean. She had an instant pot, it busted up. I'll just be real with you. I flipping bought me another stove yesterday at Lowe's Hardware. I walked up in there and we we were was sitting there. What was we going up there for? <laughs> Cabinet for the house is maintenance, please. We well, maintenance doing maintenance on the houses. Praise God that my job allows me to go to Lowe's. So I went in there, flipping went to the uh, first we go to flipping clearance. That's just how we roll. Seeing the flipping nothing wrong. Mad tag stove. Nine hundred and eighty some dollars. Brought down to seven. Brought down to four fifty. I said, Chris, I think I can do them down. <laughs> Chris like, all right. And I walked around and I'm like, I wish she would. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm gonna go find him for you, honey. I'm gonna get this thing down. And I'm walking around and I come back empty hand, Chris. Where's he at? I said, uh, I can't even find and about that time that guy I was like, excuse me, sir. And he's like, Can I can you mark this down a little bit more for me? He goes, 
350 sound good? Deal. <laughs> and he's like, I said, well, let me call my guy. I was like, uh, okay. And he, so he, man, he, he, you know, he called his flipping dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, he said, all right, I'll mark it down 350. I said, are you going to get in trouble? He goes, no, nah, I'm a supervisor over this way. I said, all right, let's get this thing to register real quick. <laughs> so I got a flipping, nothing wrong, Maytag stove for 350 bucks. Whirlpool, Whirlpool, Whirlpool. 350 bucks. I'm like, me and Crystal flipping, like like how me and Doug went, we slipping, slipping hands up in there. <laughs> Look at that. I said, Mom, we got your stove, Mama. We get your stuff now. Because we've been, I mean, the, the stove top works, but the other part didn't work. So we was just like, Jesus. I, and like Doug reminded me, flipping, weed eater, clearance. Best thing I've ever had. Wood splitter, clearance, best thing I've ever had. I said Lowe's clearance is okay. And you know what they call that punt? You know what they call that back there? Death row. I said, oh, okay. I said, you tell him you had the guy that brings some the dead things back to life. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I'm not just sitting here bagging, bragging about this life here. But he's saying that we all, A-L-L, experience it. That we don't lack this experience. And, man, we may be going through. I, We see the couch. That doesn't mean that me and my, me and my crystal don't bicker or anything. You know, it's still life. We got to do this thing, but now we know. Hey, I can go very easily forgive. I can easily apologize. I can be quick to forgive. I can shut my mouth, or I can do this, or she can do this, and then we embrace. But you know what we've been doing here? Every time something might, like something, we pray. We begin to pray. Like the other night, somebody texts us after we left there. We went to track plus. I got a text message. Can you pray for such and such? We begin to start praying for that person. Okay, begin to pray for that person. And we're not flipping pushing, but we're praying on them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just sitting there. And I was sitting there last night. And I, I told Doug I really wanted to share this. That we don't flipping turn our eyes on the rest, the faith rest that Abba brings to us. That it's that that we embrace that rest, that we can constantly stay in that rest. You know what I'm saying? That we can constantly stay in that rest because I believe it's the flipping. Most important, not really the most important, but the most necessary thing that we need to be in. Because I'm sitting there like, I mean, I was sitting there, I told, I mean, I was sitting there like, when she's talking about them frogs, I'm over here preaching Marissa going down to the pond and just mowing, but then she starts seeing the frogs. Okay, she's going down there mowing with nothing in her mind, just going down there mowing. Okay, she should be, or she, she, I mean, she could be with Doug. She could be up at the house doing something. She's doing there mowing, but she's over there looking at frogs. And I'm sitting there like, if if she's like me, and she sees a frog, the number one thing is I gotta catch these frogs. That's the only thing on her mind is I gotta catch these frogs, mm -hmm. but nothing else. But she sits there, and I sit back and I think, because I heard her. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not bagging or anything, but she was like bagging, but she was like. You know, we, you know, fish, we, you know, we'll fish whatever some other time. You know what I'm saying? But then flipping God gave her the frogs. That they did get to go. She said she wouldn't, nobody's fishing without no frogs. But I'm sitting there like, how can this it man, is, you know what I'm saying? How can this, how can people with jobs don't even go to work <laughs> and go fishing? <laughs> how can people on a Tuesday sit, this is what rocks me. Because I'm we ain't part of, we're, we're we're part of a different system. Yeah, why? You know what? Yeah, and I'm sitting there like, huh? what is this system that we got the revelation of who our daddy really is? <clears throat> and what, yeah. and I'm sitting there like, how can this get even better? Right? How can this really get any better? I mean, realistically, the last time we went, I told Marissa we was out there. The boys were swimming. I said, "Honey." I said, it's like, what if we weren't obedient to even God saying, go fishing today? Because she kept saying, why are you avoiding me scheduling anything <laughs> Tuesday? And I said, let's go fishing Tuesday. Whatever. Okay. And when we went, it was like, it hit me. Standing in the water and the boys swimming. What if we weren't obedient to that? Not just don't sin. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. And and or, or give money or pay for somebody. But what if it's in the, in the very the simple things in life? Of, of go spend time together today. <laughs> what if you're not obedient to that? Right to, to that. Or whatever it is. Go buy a stove. Yeah. Say yes to fixing the cabinet so you can go up there to buy a stove. Mm -hmm. What if you'd be like, I don't know if I can fix that, man. Yeah. You'd have never I been up never there and you'd have never received what he had planned. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's not it's it's not an intricate thing. It's not a road map. People say life's like a road map. I don't it's not hard to figure out. It's not a mystery because he says in the scripture that he, he waited to reveal the mystery to us. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no longer a mystery because it's been, revealed, it's been to revealed to us. So all we have to do is what Damon said. <laughs> Say yes. Say yes. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm sitting there like sitting here. My, if people walk <laughs> around and sitting there thinking, man, how bad life is. My life is not bad. Yeah, when well, you're talking about that rest place, I was thinking when you're in that place of rest like that, and if we constantly, if we're constantly there, like, like it says, don't fail to yes, embrace, embrace it. Once there, you got peace. There's no worry. There's no stress. And what's that? Like? <coughs> that affects your your thoughts. Everything that affects your health. Everything. That's health. Yes. So what does that bring it? Heaven Life down. Life to your body. Heaven. Heaven. Everything. You don't right. search for joy. We're not asking God give us joy because we have an opportunity here. He says God has offered the same promise of entering to his realm of resting and confident faith. So we must be equipped to ensure that we all, oh, we've oh. all had the invitation. Oh, that's what I love about the cross because it gives it, it makes it a level playing field for everybody. everybody. If you're not experiencing it, you haven't said yes to the promise. And Huh? And that's it's your, your fault. fault. It's your fault. It's a choice. <laughs> it's it's the promise is there. You have the choice to embrace right. it. Right. Right. And don't sit there and you know, don't sit there and come up to me and tell me how hard life is. Right. I mean, I'm not saying it's. Yeah. Life you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But right. man, but this the, this when we're in this place, circumstances. Don't dictate. They have no, it doesn't, it, 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 they're not even circumstances Gosh. anymore. Yes. It doesn't matter what may come. It uh, Because you have this thing, and, 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 and <laughs> because there's a thing settled in you. Damon said, if I had a school, did you hear him talking about the school? He said, yeah, yeah, start yeah, at 828 because of Romans 828. Yeah, for scriptures. I know that all things work together the, the, uh, yeah. according to the good of those who are called, Six, and who love God and are called according to his purpose. Yeah. And I'm thinking, th that's it. When you are in this place, you have no option. There's there's no, you don't, sir, God, I need joy today. I'm just depressed. No, you're not. No, you're, you're not. not in. You're, you're not, not in, in it. it. You're not in it. There's no, and, and, Bless God, man, but there's all that stuff is irrelevant in the kingdom. We didn't hear Jesus say any of that stuff, man. We didn't hear that come out of our Lord's mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It did it. I think he had many chances. He had more. Do, he had more than we ever uh, did. He had more chances, opportunities to complain and give up and quit than we will ever have. I mean, think the dude. The dude was tortured and beat. And then made to do something humanly impossible. <laughs> Come on. Man, carrying the cross was yeah, like humanly impossible. impossible. And he was beat and tortured and all that beforehand. Yeah. He could have gave up. Easily, but he couldn't. Very fast. Because he knew, man, man, 2022 years later, I've got to give somebody a place That's of rest. Best. Everything. We should be prevailing. Everything. Even though bad things happen to us. Everything. It says, and I, 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 wanted, I love the New King James. It says, therefore, since a promise remains of entering into it, let us fear lest any of you seem to come short of it. Huh? I love the New King James right there. 
following the same pattern of oh, yeah. pattern. Yeah. It says, indeed, the gospel was preached to us That's as well to them. So the gospel was preached to everybody. What gospel? This gospel. Yeah. It says, but the word which they heard didn't profit them. Why? Because they didn't mix it with faith. faith. Because this is this is what marks us different than it than them. Yeah. Who's them? Everybody else. Yeah. It's because we say, okay, God. That measure of faith that you gave, remember about six months ago we yeah, talked about faith. it's his faith that he gives us anyways. We, all we have to do is take that and throw it into that mixing bowl that Marissa's been wanting. <laughs> Fancy one. Yeah. She's been yeah. wanting one. Grinder. Right? All we got to do is take what he's given us and throw it in the bowl that he's provided and the other ingredients. It's all him. All we got to do is just throw that faith that he gave us in there and to be mixed mix up, up. With it. What, and, what, and, and what is that faith? God, I trust you in it. Simple God, simple. I trust you in it. God, simple okay, you told me to leave my job. God, you told me to leave the system. God, you told me, right, right? All these things all built up. To and It's in that place of rest. You, this is what the Lord spoke to me earlier, weren't concerned with yeah. what you were just talking about not happening. Yeah about things that you felt like God's told you would happen. And in the midst of it didn't work out right. that way, you weren't like, what's well, never going to happen, God? You ain't doing it, God. And what I say, I right? said, right? Yeah. yeah. You had an opportunity there and an option to, it, no, uh -uh. I'm in this place of rest. God, you're going to work it out. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yes. Because yes. that's what I was going to say was that's, you had a choice. You could have yes. been justified in that. Yeah, and sit there. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. And had I mean, a legit reason yeah, I mean, to be. Realistically. Yeah. But whenever you use this, I just trust you, God. I trust you. I don't like it. We won't always like it. Yeah. And, and it no, it, I yeah. don't understand it. It's like Bill said, Bill Johnson, at the moment of him laying There's there worshiping wife. God as his wife Watch took him last breath, he said, I, I have to let go of my understanding to receive oh, his peace. Yes. It says in Proverbs, right? Lean not on your own understanding, understanding and always acknowledge him. He, will. he, will direct the path. he said, I have to let go of my understanding. I have to let go of God. I want to know why. Sometimes he, Bill said, and I quote him, he said, sometimes God gives understanding and that's great, but it's not a promise. He never promised us he would. He told us to lean not on our own, not try to understand it in our ways. But if we lean not on ours, but acknowledge him in all his. Yes. God, even though that even though this didn't go as planned the way I thought it should go, I'm trusting you. Because, that way, even because I said yeah. Right. Even what I asked for. Because even in the I midst of him, pre him, the message was right after his wife died. They prayed and believed for healing for a while. out of a place where millions of people have been healed from the same disease. Mm -hmm. But yet his wife doesn't get healed. They still from worship. Him. Yeah. And him saying, I, I, I'm not even going to ask why, God. I'm not going to lean on my own I'm understanding of these things. Yeah. But I worship you. Yes. Because, do you know, like, in the, I don't think it's wrong to ask why, but I think whenever it doesn't, man, bitterness will start to fester. Yeah. And, and resentment <coughs> towards the Lord and, and a little awkwardness in between your relationship because that unanswered why. Yeah. If you get that comes your focus and you yeah. dwell on and dwell on. and Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I don't think it's wrong to ask why or wrong to you know want to know why, but I think it's not the main focus. It's yeah. Nasty, yeah. Though. yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's the, it, it's, And that's what struck me about this scripture, however long ago it was. It's been, I don't know. Is that we all have this opportunity. Yeah. And it was like, even then, I felt a responsibility then. And as Jeremy feels it even now, man, it's like, we must be extremely careful. The nuke, it says to fear. Yeah. To that means, fear. Yeah. Not uh, uh, to ensure that we all embrace the fullness of the promise. 
and not fail to experience it. Not just bits and pieces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just, uh, well, it's been a hell of a week and I need to have a restful weekend. Yeah. Or this is, the, this is the American thing. This is the American church thing. Oh, we just had revival. What do normally what normally happens after pastors have big revivals? Where do they go for about the next week? So the American church thing is is after we've just did all this and we've done all, I got to go have my rest. Uh -uh. You 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 do everything that comes from that place. In rest, and if not, we could. We could have struggled just to, well, I would have wished that, because I, I would have wished they would have came and he would have came and those, they, they all, no. Or it's Jesus, now, it's Jesus. It's out of a place of rest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> it's smooth sailing. Really meant that, you know? It's smooth yeah. sailing. Yeah. It when the storm is. comes, we just got to be quick. Jesus, you better speak to it. When the storm comes, Jeremy over here. <laughs> right? In the boat. I will. Right. The nap monster. <laughs> you better be, though. Yeah. All right. Come on. The yeah. Religion teaches us, no, you better speak to the storm. Why would I attempt and struggle and create an Ishmael in speaking to the storm and doing it my way right. when I could just say, all right, Jesus, you, I'm your permanent dwelling place. Speak to it. Yeah. You've done it for them. You'll do it for me. Yes. I say yes. Right. And the next one, life. It relieves you from any pressure. I think we get caught up in what we think we need to do. Yeah. Or what we think we need so then we begin to formulate that, and that's yeah. our formula on getting God to answer prayers and getting yeah. God to move yeah. to where whenever we simplify it, yeah, and just then we know, hey, it's you, God. I didn't do anything fancy. We just. Um, and that's what it says here. As we enter into God's faith and rest life, we cease from our own works, just as God celebrates His finished works and rest in Him. That's because we don't have to do it. We're not pushing it our way. Right. We're His will. We're doing it His way. Right. Yeah. There is no our works. That doesn't mean sit back and do nothing. No. You're no. doing it His yeah. way. You're right. doing His way. Yeah. It's His will. Yeah. yeah. That's, where, way. that's where rest yeah. can come from. Yeah. You know? And it's no more. Yeah. And it's no more roller coaster ride back up uh, and down. No. It's more let's go higher. Let's go higher. <laughs> yeah. Because, because it's like what Dana said about, you know, we all would have uh, had to ask off for work yeah. Tuesday. And I was sitting there thinking, I said, you can ask Crystal. I said, I'm very, I'm very, I want, I used to not even call out for, or work, call, ask off for anything. I remember, I mean, I don't care if Flip, if we was going on vacation, I mean, if we ever did. It's like I've, I've got to work because they need me more than anything. They need me more than my family does, mm -hmm. and uh, I would have been nervous to ask off on a Tuesday, especially during the summer. You probably if I was at delivered. Yeah. <laughs> I got delivered. Well, it took, we want to go. We want to go. Yeah. We want to have. It, we, we, we yeah. It would have been hard, but I mean, you see what I'm saying. Yeah. But then, whenever you, but faith activates it, like what Doug said about a, I mean, a while back. That's when the faith activates it. And people, I mean, we could really experience heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. That's what rocks me bad. Well, so many people think heaven is ages off and they've got to do all this and everything. They're, they're, they're missing the peace. The peace. Yeah. They're missing the peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the joy, the, the, joy the love, and all that daddy has for us. I mean, yeah. it just rocked me really last night. I was like sitting there like, oh my God, is this what it feels like? Because I really don't have no worries. And I don't have to get on. I mean, I yeah. And being I mean. an overthinker, that is something. Like yeah. <laughs> she knows. I mean, she knows. I am because we used to like. But if you overthink, you're like, because you're sitting there constantly planning things out. I mean, like, not really like planning, but like, okay, if this goes wrong, if they look at me this way, if they don't do, what if this happens? If if we go that way, will he be mad? This is what's going through my mind. But it's like you're in that rush. You're like, nope. 
I ain't worried about it. I love you, Jesus. Yeah, because we was on the riders and I kept yelling at Doug, Jesus! And he just looked, everything okay? I'm like, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, but I was just like, you know, but it's just like, and I was sitting there, and I was sitting there with her flipping headphones on, just flipping, eating a bowl of cereal like a kid would flip and do. And I'm sitting there looking at this. It's like, dude, she don't have a flipping worry. The only thing she has to worry, make sure her flipping tattoos don't come off her arm. Okay? I mean, I'm serious. I mean, she's sitting there. If it washed off, she'd ruin it. The Bible said, come like childlike faith. Let's sit here and let me eat my bowl of cereal not a care in the world about what's going to happen tomorrow because I'm going to sit here and be in rest with him. Because she knows that he got it. And she knows, you know what I'm saying? She knows. I mean, that's how we, I mean, I believe that's where we're at, but it's like the Lord reminded me, don't ever, it's like I, I told Crystal, so I'm going to ask Doug if I could just share a little bit of it. Let's don't ever forget about Hebrews 4, about the rest, because it's for all of us. And let's don't fail to experience it. Because if we fail to experience it, it ain't my fault. It's not Doug's fault. It's not the ministry's fault. It ain't even Abba's fault. It's flipping your fault. You know what I'm saying? Because I sit back and I look at I'm looking. I mean, I'm sitting here listening to Marissa. And Crystal's like, you know, that's what happened to my Instapot. She wanted Instapot too. And of course, I mean, I'm not trying to be. But you weren't like. But she wasn't like. I need that. I need this. I need that. Perfect player is good. And, you know, but it was just a, a desire within you. Well, I had, I saw him like, it's been like a month or so ago. Um, I got a couple of pillows, but like, I don't know if you remember the pillow you made me. I used that pillow for probably 20 years. No yeah, lie. Oh, well, I had like, one for like, last. Like, that was my pillow went everywhere with me, and I had to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. So I've not found one that I like since. I had two not great pillows, and I was just making up a bed one day, and I had. Like I didn't sleep good because of my pillows. And I'm like, Lord, provide me a pillow. Please make it up the bed, you know. And I think it was later that night or the next day I was cleaning something off and I found a pillow in the bedroom. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's that experience it's that you have. moments that it's like you feel that tender little. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm sitting over here looking at Marissa going down to the pond. And I'm sitting there like all these flipping frogs is everywhere. And I'm sitting, she'll be having a flipping heyday with these because now she says, now we get to go out on a boat because I get to use a, a flipping frog fish. And I mean, he started making me like tear up a little bit, not because it, because I know she's experienced. I know we're all experienced the rest that this is so exciting to live the next day. Yeah. 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 People are waiting for these. Big things, big things. When this is what matters. God's in all the details. Every little all details. small details. The smallest. Dana posed for a picture yeah. yesterday, and I was taping it. You're like, work it, girl. But <laughs> and I said, you're not gonna believe what's in the background. Those birds flying in the background, and it's like just in that little, like the Lord just photo bombed you with some birds. <laughs> He cares about everything we have. Yes, and it's exactly if they want to go to. He knows the desires of our heart. He knows the hairs on our head. He knows the desires. It's in there. I keep him busy because I be losing them everywhere. Flipping grass. My share is howl them on the wall. How he knows us, you know. Share hair on the wall. Everything about our desires. You like curling up? Well, it's the same. You know, it's like, dude, I know them flipping. They flipping call. They call me. I got this autograph, Jeremy. I got this autograph. I got this autograph on my arm. And we got all these people. And flipping has a guy. Have you noticed his pictures? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there like zombie, dude. I'm sitting over here. This is happening on a flipping Sunday. They went down there and worship Jesus on a Sunday. Why? Because yeah. they're in that rest. You see, you know what I'm saying? You can go out and ride on the roads and stop up there and look at that uh, um, sparrow or what that or what that hawk. hawk, that hawk up on that light pole, yeah. and be in perfect rest, but sit there worshiping. Yeah. We get on a ride, or you can go down the road, or down to Jennifer's, or down to <coughs> Tiffany's, or whatever. Or Tommy can sit at his house in the air conditioning. I said, I said last Wednesday. I said, I was like, well, I, I miss Jane, but I know it's, she's in heaven on earth. Being around them grandkids. Oh, yeah. That's the joy. Yes, that's my right? joy. You know, my kids and my grandkids are the joy. 
But we make it, it's like the religious system makes it so hard. It's like what Damon said, doing and gotten, getting and doing and doing and gotten and getting it. We, it's like what Doug said. Doug said, you don't need no, or uh, what'd you say about uh, anointed? Or you, you said something about anointing on the phone. You don't need to get more anointing or something. It's, I don't, I, mean, I, I, mean, I can't remember what he said, but he was like, because of the righteousness and who I am in him. It makes me who I am and nothing else. Can't get no more. Yeah. Can't get no less. Yeah. I don't change God. My prayer, I mean, I can't sit here. It's like what Damon said. People think that repeating a prayer can change God. Like he's talking about repeating a prayer, like mm -hmm. turning God into a judge, to a daddy. He's always been a daddy from day one. But the religious scholars never told us about daddy. They told us about judge in hell yeah. and not about daddy. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that's not daddy. That's no. not Abba. Mm -hmm. So I was sitting there like, I mean, I can't get my, how exciting. It's like what Doug said. It's flipping exciting to live. Okay, Lord, when I say yes to you, I don't want to rush time. I, I don't want to rush time, but man, what do you have for me next? Mm -hmm. Lord, what do you have for me when I leave out of here? Lord, what do you have for me here in about 10 seconds? Because you don't know when he's going to flip and drop a bomb or when he's going to drop a, a flip and something sweet or something this like them flipping. Fr she wasn't out there. She's out there mowing grass. We went on a job, me and Chrissy did. We went on a job. And Chrissy's like, and she's like, man, we just looked at that book. I got Instapot. I got my Instapot. Oh, because they come with a big old cookbook. And I'm sitting there like, and I'm sitting there like, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, making my wife happy. And I'm sitting there like, why? Because I said yes. And then people, uh huh. I, it, if I didn't go with Doug, it all falls back in them dominoes. Apparently they said yes somewhere. But they sit there and they see you manifesting the hope of glory and they don't see no fake uh, 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 fake try, uh, fakeness. You know what I'm saying? It drank right, man, really rack, rock, rocks me up. Like tomorrow, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm taking my wife out to dinner. Praise God. Hey, they're going to I don't know. I, 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 I mean, we might, I yeah. mean, hey, it, it may be flipping all day. Don't you know what I'm saying? Say it. Oh, yes. because you know what I'm saying? Because I get to experience my anniversary with her. But people sit there and say, well, how are you going to experience it? You're always with her. I don't give up. It don't get old. Don't get old because I'm always a like her. She's always learned something new. I'm always learning something new about her. She always learns something new about me. But let me tell you something. Flipping. Yeah, they got engaged yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's what I'm saying. If I can, like I said, encourage you tonight. Uh -huh. Is never, never get distracted to embracing the rest of God. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's available. It's right? a, always available. Yeah. I mean, that's the same thing with us. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> it says uh, so then we must give our all and be eager to experience this faith rest mm. the only thing we work at is to stay there <laughs> it's to get there and stay there and we experience it so that no one not one of us falls short by following the same pattern of doubt and unbelief, of doubt and unbelief. So, so what takes you out of the face, bro? It's doubt and unbelief. Doubt and unbelief. Don't doubt. Man, it's okay.